What is up, beautiful family? I hope that y'all are having a great afternoon. Um, sorry I'm wearing my sunglasses again. It's bright outside. I wanted to just tell you guys that we made it back from Iowa safely. So thank you so much for your prayers. Our, they are um, very much appreciated. Um, also wanted to come on here and just chat with you guys for a minute about, you know, something that is on my heart. And I want to be um, a little more vulnerable with you guys today just because um, just in hopes that it's going to help somebody else. I know that there's a lot of you guys who are feeling the same way, who are getting attacked in the same way. And so I just hope that maybe this will help one of you guys or a lot of you today. Um, I know that the enemy is attacking the body of Christ and trying to cause division. And a lot of people have lost their focus and are losing their focus. Focused. <laughs> focus. Um, you know, the enemy is continuing to try and pervert the gospel. He's trying to take the simplicity away from it. So he's making people uh, continue to doubt and to question. But he's also, yeah, we're going home, baby. But he is also trying to just personally attack each individual in different ways. And I know that a lot of you guys are feeling the same way that I have been feeling lately for the past week and a half. And I was talking to Chrissy last night, and she just reminded me again, and I know it. I know. Um, thank God for my sisters in Christ, but it is an attack from the enemy. You know, I've had uh, thoughts just flood into my mind, and Satan is wanting me to sit there and dwell on these things. That I'm not important to God. That I'm unimportant. That he's not close to me. That he's not there. Um, that I'm not hearing from him, that everything I'm getting from him is just my flesh. Um, trying to just make me question everything that, you know, I'm not doing enough. And it's all lies from the enemy. And if anybody out there right now is, is experiencing this and having these same negative thoughts flood into your mind I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus because it is a lie from the pits of hell and you know I, I've been the, the, the best thing I can tell you guys is to just do what I've been doing and uh, take it all to the Lord just express to him how you're feeling like express your frustrations let him know how you're feeling because I promise you if the enemy is trying to tell you that God doesn't love you, that he's not near to you, it's a lie. Because God says he would never, ever leave us nor forsake us. And even the times that we don't feel close to him, we feel like we're not getting anything, we feel like he's not speaking to us. Um, I promise you, he's always speaking. And sometimes we just have to tune back in and, um, you know, get the distractions out of our way so that we can really hear him. And um, just keep your focus on him, guys. And if, if you're feeling like he doesn't love you, you're not hearing from him, you must be doing something wrong, you're not doing enough. Um, like I said, I rebuke those things in the name of Jesus because we know that those are lies from the enemy. Um, they are so far from the truth. And if you didn't have the Holy Spirit dwelling within you, you, don't, you wouldn't be feeling this way. Um, you wouldn't be trying to do everything that you can to get closer to him and you wouldn't feel you wouldn't be feeling bad about these things um and that those you know those things even whenever you feel like you know it sucks you know whenever you start to feel that way it's actually a good thing because it, it, it shows you that you do have the holy spirit dwelling within you because if you didn't then you wouldn't care and the holy spirit is working in you um, God has not left you. And I just want you to know that, you know, we always watch, you know, we always hear, like if you watch the pastors and the preachers on YouTube or on TV, they always seem like they've got it together. They always seem like they're always hearing from the Lord that, oh man, these men and women must be just having legitimate conversations with the Lord. Okay. Well, they don't ever tell you about the struggles. They don't tell you about the seasons that they feel like they don't hear from the Lord. They don't tell you about the personal attacks that they have been facing. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a real thing. And especially if you're a Christian, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you're going to face these attacks. But you have to be able to stand firm on the truth and know when the enemy is speaking. Because 
um, the Lord loves you and he loves me. And just because you may feel like you're not hearing from him or you're not receiving any visions or dreams from the Lord or you just feel like you're not hearing from him in general, uh, just keep your trust and your faith in him, okay? And keep expressing those emotions to him. Give it all to him. Keep your focus on him. Um, and just, just seek his face because even though it may feel like you're going through some hard times and a hard season right now, um, in due time, you know, he's going to speak and he's going to confirm things with you and he's going to, you know what I mean? So just, I, I want you guys to keep your faith and know that he loves you. He's not mad at you. He's not far. He's not distant. He's right there literally with you. He hears everything. He cares about you. You are so important to him. Um, so don't let it impact you negatively and don't give in to those lies and don't run away from God because that's what the enemy wants you to do. It doesn't matter if you're saved or not. He wants to make you feel like you're not valued, you're not important, you're not worthy, okay? And I'm telling you right now, those are lies from the enemy. And you probably, you know, if, if you are somebody who's facing these things right now, you know that's a lie from the enemy. So rebuke it in the name of Jesus and just get into his word, okay? Just nourish your soul with his truth and let it feed your soul and just keep close to the Lord. Keep talking to him, okay? Because he's right there. And he will confirm it to you <laughs> that he loves you, that he's right there, that he's never left you, okay? Um, the Lord never said that, like, the, the walk would be easy, okay? But you just have to, you know, this, this one thing that the Lord is teaching me right now is to just trust. And I've been learning to trust him with even the smallest things, even the smallest things, okay? Just trust him. Keep your faith in him. And know that when those negative thoughts flood into your mind, that's the enemy. And he's trying to put those lies into your mind. And he wants you to sit there and dwell on them, okay? But if you're feeling that urge in your spirit, like you you want to please the Lord, you, you want to be closer to him, you want him to speak to you, okay? That's the Holy Spirit, all right? That's the Holy Spirit dwelling within you. And he's, he's working it out in you, okay? Um, his, your life is in his hands. He's got you. Okay. And when you start to feel like, oh my gosh, I'm not doing enough. I'm not he hearing from him. Is, is he mad at me? Okay. That's when you need to rest in his hands. Okay. Um, and because the more you start focusing on those things, all right, the more you're going to get into your flesh. All right. Just rest, <laughs> rest and allow him to work. Okay. Um, I love you all. I just wanted to give you guys encouragement and let you know that I've been going through the same thing for the past week and a half. Okay. I go through struggles too, all right? And I'm so thankful for my sisters in Christ who are there for me. Not only the Lord, He's always there for me. But I'm so thankful for my sisters in Christ who are always there to uplift me and encourage me. Um, if you don't have people in your life who are like-minded, who love the Lord, okay? Um, I think it's really important to surround yourself with people who like I said, uplift you and encourage you and feed you with the word and with God's truth. Okay. Um, so anyways, I love you all and I'm praying for you all stay strong. We know that the Lord is returning soon. Okay. We wouldn't be under such heavy spiritual warfare if the Lord was not at the door. Okay. And Satan's trying to do anything and everything in his power to do anything he can to, to drag us down. Um, but just remember guys that when Satan is speaking, it's lies. He is the father of lies. There's no truth that dwells within him. And when you start to receive these negative thoughts in your mind, okay, and it doesn't line up with what God says about who you are and how the Lord feels about you. Okay. You rebuke it. All right. And you move on. I love you all. Talk to you soon.